<laughs> Hello everybody, so this is another requested video. This time it's about Putin and Russia. The question was something like when will Putin be brought down or how uh, can he be brought down and if there will ever be like really healthy democracy in Russia if they, if they would ever get rid of the kleptocra kleptocracy <laughs> and the other question was what's the ties with the UK uh, what Putin what's what is Putin doing in UK and the other question was about the nuclear weapons and the last one was about Alexei Navalny what chance does, she, does he have against Putin okay so let's begin first what would it take for people what would people need to do what would there need to be done in order for this system corrupt system of kleptocracy and these tyrants to be brought down and to finally have like a healthier system in place so first question what, what would it take what does it take I already have my answers but I want to see what the card shows I don't want to influence let's see what the card show what would it take to bring down the whole fuckery oh man naked woman <laughs> This is Navalny. <laughs> oh, new ideas, patience, oops. And the world, yeah, okay. Mueller, <laughs> you need Mueller. You need Mueller too. <laughs> Everybody needs Mueller. Uh, okay. So, first of all, you need to fight back with this knave of swords but in a f in a smart way from this hangman here it, it it's not a good idea to ha oh, revolution let's <laughs> bring down these fuckers it doesn't work look what happened in syria same will happen in russia nobody will do anything especially since nobody does anything with that fucker assad okay how can they do something to putin when he has the nuclear weapons like come on so if you're trying to bring down a tyrant buckle up you're not gonna do it that like like that it takes time that's why we have the hangman here it takes time first of all shift the vision you need to learn people need to to shift their vision when you're hanged there you see from a different perspective and this is the hangman just sits there and watch and learns as he passed, as the times go, it's like time stops, but in this time, it's not like he's just wasting. He's learning, he's gaining a new vision, he's seeing the world from the upside down. He's learning, and time, there's needed time and a good planning. And new creative ideas from, and also support, I see. With this empress, um, the empress is about creative, new creative ideas, the birth of a new, a new beginning, the birth of a new something. I don't know, <laughs> uh, a new face. Um, So, you need first careful planning. You don't just fight. This is not, nah, this is just the name of sword. You need to stand up, but not aggressively, not 
Let's have a revolution. Let's start the fight. Let's start. It's just gonna create bloodshed, and that's all. As I said, take a good look in Syria. What happens there, and this is what tyrants do. They would kill innocent people with, without a blink of an eye. And this is what Putin did in Chechnya. Nobody did anything. Nobody. Sanctions my ass. Like, no. Nobody did anything. They do not intervene for this. And especially when you have a maniac like Putin with nuclear weapons willing to do anything to protect his throat. So you need to... There needs to be planning that it takes a while. It takes a long time, and it, there is needed this fiery passion. This is not Mueller. I think this is more something like Alex say, but it could be him as a person. But I think like he embodies something. He embodies a, this. How to say this new idea, renewal, rebirth, with this salamander here. This like renewal. Um, for for instance, you may say like, how can Alexei fight such a big? Because Alexei is small. How can he fight such a big system? Such such a big? How can you fight like a mosquito cannot fight like a big elephant? <laughs> um, in that way, he can't win. But he can win, he, and he is winning in another way. He he's like the little spark. You you need a spark to start the fire. A, a small spark cannot burn down the whole house by itself. It it needs to ignite ignites into another spark, another spark, and then a full blown fire. And that fire is fueled by people, by minds, by attitudes, by. So what I think that Navalny is doing good is educating people. Is putting his passion out there. And it matters so much to stand up. And he actually he puts himself in danger. But I think this need is needed. This passion, this fire, this drive, and willing to, but not in the sense of let's fight, let's start the fight. You need a, a smart fight. You need people to get educated and make a good plan. So there's need uh, just fighting back because this knave of stones she doesn't think she's immature she just like pfft, cuts you off it doesn't matter the consequences but then it the consequences are bad so it's like reacting in anger like when you're just reacting and you're not thinking you're creating more damage than good so th this immaturity is not a good thing it is what is needed it's a Take time, make plan, think it through. People need to be inspired to have this fiery passion for truth, for what is right. People need to be educated, uh, you know, because Putin also has fans like Trump, Trump and Z's. Putin also has his brainwashed followers that would jump off a cliff for him. So there is needed education to. To stop people from falling for that brainwashing propaganda and that bullshit. So there is need for this fiery passion that I think that Alexei Navalny it kind of embodies it, and I kind of see his energy in here. Careful planning takes time, new creative ideas, and very important outside help. You cannot do this. You cannot fight this big monster without help from the outside. Because as I explained in the previous video about Putin, I don't remember, it was one about Putin or Alexei, some, something like this. Um, the Magnitsky Act, uh, this is a bill passed by the U.S. Congress signed by Obama, and that's why Putin hates Obama, I already said this. So this Magnitsky Act, it, it targets uh, the specific person that is guilty of um, human rights crimes, violations, and um, so you do, they don't have to put sanctions on all the country, they just put it 
on the person who is guilty and they freeze their assets and they block their block them <clears throat> from entering their and they this Kleptocrats, these oligarchs, they, they work within a system. It is a whole system like a cancer, like a tumor that is feeding off a healthy an organism. This is what kleptocrats are. And they're working within a system. And in that system, they need the Western economy to function. They need to launder the money through Western economies. So they use countries like America and like this to wash the money that they steal from their people and this Magnitsky Act it targets these individuals and that's why this Putin is wants these sanctions removed because it hurts his oligarchs his bodies that he relies on this they're in their ecosystem these oligarchs you know and it is needed for these measures to be applied by all country right now it's uh, just a few countries started to adopt it and i think it's going to blow open <laughs> worldwide it's going to be adopted and it's going to be uh, like a, the most important civil rights civil rights uh, imp implemented act for people to fight against corruption in these countries where this this dictators these tyrants these oligarchs this this is how you fight against them you cannot fight oh one revolution and then you have people die for no point um, so you, you need careful planning you need outside help so wait what I wanted to say something about the yeah the money and power that's how their system works and you know this this idea money and power it they're kind of I think they're working the this in the same way is like what's the point if you have money if you don't have power because if you have a lot of money like I'm talking big money not like uh, just some money big money like being in the big dog league so if you are in that league and you have that high amount of money you cannot have it without having some sort of a system that support you without some sort of a power play game there where you are this is how these people live this is how they survive these oligarchs, these corrupt people, they're supporting each other and look like Putin, for instance, is if you work with him, he would help you as an oligarch, he would help you, he will let you have your money in your business and actually he will help you make more. If you're against him, he's gonna fuck you out of your money. Same in Saudi Arabia, they do the same thing. This asshole Mohammed bin Salman, the new king crown whatever the fuck he is he did the same things with his rivals they froze their asses they throw some bullshit accusations out there they put them on house arrest they took all their money and this was this priest Talal or something it was someone who got into a beef fight on twitter with trump <laughs> and now he's the poor guy's in trouble he's fucked out of his money and he's somewhere in some sort of a house arrest like he's held somewhere in a, some palace there so this is it like if you have money there's no there's no you cannot hold it you need power to hold on to your money and to and you need a support system to create to to be in this power play system to keep your money and to make more money uh, so they're all helping each other they're a system and that's how they work so it's needed the um countries like USA and to, to stop them from allowing them to, to launder the money there needs to be some sort of support from the outside because this is how this fucker survives so that's why the world card appeared there's need to be support and help from the outside in any form like that's just what it is it's needed there needs to be some sort of collaboration some support some from inside and outside the world card and the inside of the, the fire the passion the drive the will the patience the careful planning the new creative ideas don't get feisty don't react don't oh, I'm gonna cut your head off you're gonna just harm yourself so this system will be brought down it takes time it's a long process and it needs help from outside, collaboration from
you know, the world. Um, it needs to be, it doesn't go in a one big blow. It goes in, like, attacking them from all fronts. This is how, like, a way to get rid of, um, kleptocrats and these corrupt systems. So it's a complex thing. It doesn't go, oh, yeah, let's choose Alexei because these tyrants will do anything, anything to grab on to power, anything. They'll stop at nothing. Look at Assad. Just look at Assad, what Assad is doing. And at least Assad, if he hadn't had Iran and Russia to intervene for him, to kill his, his own people for him, he would have been out of his a on his ass. He would have been like people would have won. And he only used jihadis as a narrative like, oh, look, there are jihadis. I need to be in power to fight them. But he didn't fight jihadis. He fought the rebels and he fought them. And then they threw out this bullshit um, conspiracy theories like the American imperialism, they're <laughs> attacking our sovereignty. And you know that the bullshit was peddled when he's the one who attacked his people his because the revolution didn't start with arms people didn't wake up oh let's shoot this bastard they went out with flowers nobody was armed and they shoot them down unarmed people they shoot they opened fire on the crowd of people that were unarmed on children so this is the the length of what and they they have a saying this Assadis and Assad like we would rather burn down Syria than give up Assad, something like this. And this is their mindset. They would rather burn down everything than give up power. So if Assad is doing that and nobody's doing anything, who's intervening in Syria? Nothing. UN just like, okay, tragedies. Let's write them down and do nothing. And putting it is playing them all in strong. It's like, ugh. So if Assad can do that, of course Putin will do the same and worse. And he already does did it in Chechnya. In, so if you're thinking like one big revolution, let's fight him. No, he's going to kill people without a blink of an eye. He doesn't give a fuck. In order to bring this system down, there needs to be a careful planning and care from all sides, from all, attack them from all fronts. And I think that even if Putin drops dead, <laughs> he, he still the system is still there of kleptocrats. And so you're going to need like a long term term plan lot of education and help from all sides okay so this was how would what would it take for Putin to fall down for this system this kleptocracy to fall down now the next question is uh, Alexei Navalny I already said about him that He's like this spark that ignites a fire and this is enough. What he's doing is enough. He's not losing his winning in this way. He doesn't he doesn't need to win the presidency to be a winner. He's already winning because he's igniting this fire in people. But let, let's do a reading on him. What is what um what effect does Navalny have on all this? What is his contribution? What is his what is he succeeding? To what extent is he succeeding? What's his contribution in all this? The future, to foretell the future, it's a bit tricky because things can all, always change. The energy can always change depending on choices being made. So, yeah, the future is never 100%. But So that's why I'm asking what's... I'm not asking for the future right now in this one. I'm asking more like what's his contribution? What's his... Um, how is he affecting? What effect does he have? And all this. And then I'll do about the future. What's is the possibility in the future for him to succeed what will he succeed in the future what's the potential of him succeeding something in the future but this is overall cautiousness hermit truth 
he's fighting against like he's fighting against greed and corruption um, he's searching for the truth he's facing he's he's in he's in this could also mean prison he's in danger of putting uh, throwing him in prison isolating him but he cannot stop this this inner like light even in prison there's this fire like search for the truth and this is the sword of the truth and to me this is like balance restoring balance cautious and it takes time restoring things he's a fight he's a light in this world he's a he's a searcher of truth within and without like he's like this this energy of truth about him searching illuminating and restoring some sort of a balance and justice and he's fighting against greed so this is his contribution truth bringing out the truth and bringing some sort of a balance in educating people and showing the truth so that that's that's what he's contributing with bringing the truth against the corruption and the greed and trying to restore a balance in the world and he's a seeker of the truth with this hermit he seeks the truth um, <clears throat> let's see what's the potential for the future what's his uh, what will he achieve overall in the future? What's the potential of? For the future when it comes to Navalny. potential to bring the death of the corruption to spark the fire bring this sense of justice of you know like get people what's that word railed up or something like this against injustice and bring an end to the greed but there's also this queen of cups this is more passive this is like kind of opposite energies um so the potential is there there's a this there is a potential for an to put an end to something to real up people there is a potential to bring the end for something for uh There is great potential actually to bring an end, but I want to see uh, will he bring down Putin? Let's see, let's go further than this because that was quite promising. <laughs> I was seeing the end of greed, but let's see, maybe let's see if I interpreted that right. What the can he bring down Putin? Will he bring down Putin or something like this? Will he... This is Putin's card. These are the people, the country, the whole group out in the cold. But there is hope. The people are poor. This is the state of the people. People are poor. 
but he brings hope. He brings hope, but there is this. No, I feel like Putin is too strong. With the Seven of Pentacles, I get like it's not materialized. It's a big hope, but it's not. Yeah, he will bring down Putin. He's just a hope. He sparks a hope for people, but it, it's. I feel like Putin is too strong because he's on top here. So there is the potential for him to bring the end of something, but not the, the end of greed, maybe to expose some corruption, maybe, but not Putin. He, I don't see him bring him down. He brings hope, and that's about it. It will depend on the people. Because he cannot do it alone, as I said. He's just a spark. He needs to, you need the whole fire to burn down the house. And But that fire... As I said, it's not just, oh, let's make a revolution. It needs to be well thought of and well planned and well, you know, you need a lot. But I don't see with the Seven of Pentacles, it's not materializing. It's in between. It is a hope, but there's a big chance for disappointment, for like, it was a nice promise, but it didn't materialize. And we're still out in the cold. So it, it's, I don't see like a yes. Like it is a hope, but it will depend on many more factors. It's not just him. He cannot bring down Putin by his himself. There's other people that need to be involved. Him alone by himself, he cannot. As I said, he can spark a fire within. He that that's his. Input. That's what he's he's bringing. Uh, bringing the truth to people, and then the people together, then they can make a change together. But and he offers hope, but he himself, he cannot do it. He needs the support of people. And Putin is too fucking strong. He's on top of shit. Um. So that was hopeful. Like, so Alexei, he, I think he more of like maybe he cannot bring down Putin, but he can shed a light on certain cases of corruption and end that and have some impact. Maybe not as big impact as to end the whole system or end Putin, but he has the power to expose some things to have to some extent to have some. Uh, justice to some extent but not as high up as Putin because to take that fucker down you need a lot more you, as I said it needs long term planning help from outside uh, it's complicated but he brings hope to people and he brings truth to people and he exposes corruption and he brings the fire energy that people need but to bring down Putin there's much more needed okay so this is about Alexei Navalny what he can do um, next uh, let's ask about Putin um, in particular will he go down w will someone take him down like not just a blow or some hurt here and there like take him down is there a chance that Putin is being taken down in his lifetime? Like, not wait until he dies of, I don't fucking know, heart attack or some shit. Will he be taken down by someone? Is there a chance that Putin is brought down? Let's make it from Putin's perspective. Let's see, I don't know where that goes. <laughs> no man, he's his oligarchs. Now from this card I see him's oligarchs in this card. I don't know why is this thing. these are people being tied up and imprisoned. This is some woman. 
crossroads. I, I don't see, I don't think so. He has people, teamwork, he has people working, he's in the system, he's supported by a lot of people. He's too strong, not just himself, but he built like a support system. And there's some woman in the fucking middle here, I don't know what. Why is this fucking queen of wands keeps appearing in Putin's readings? What do you want from me? What do you want? Who are you? You annoy me. The fuck are you? This this woman like keeps appearing when it comes to Putin. I don't know what the fuck she wants. It, I think she's this woman powerful. I don't know who the fuck this is. Like she keeps appearing. I don't know what to make of her. But for the question is like no, there's I see people still imprisoned. I still oligarch still being happy and teamwork group support crossroads. No, I don't think that there is someone that can bring him down. This fucker. I think they can. Let's okay. Maybe they cannot bring him down. To what extent? He can he be hurt if someone stands up to him like I don't know USA or someone who finally gets their balls and <laughs> start to act and do something stand up to him so to what extent would he be hurt if someone would if there's someone who will stand up for up to him. So I don't see him brought down completely. No, I don't see him. There's this fucking queen of what she wants. I don't know who that girl is, woman, whatever. I don't know. There might be an important woman. I have no clue who that is. Don't ask me because I don't know. <laughs> I'm beating my brains out and... <sighs> It's not Butina, it's not, a, no, it's someone else. <laughs> Fucker. Of course, the sevens. Bamboozling people, he's stealing, he's someone. Secrets. No, man, like, fuck this guy. Don't, he cannot be hurt, like, no. No. I don't see this. I secrets waiting postpone me postponing take long time secrets thievery still going on bullshitting and bamboozle is still going on money being offered is too much corruption there's too much this too I don't this something is too big too powerful there's too many secrets too too much Corruption, too many people bought. To he gained too much power. He's well too infiltrated. They, I don't see it, man. Like fuck, I hate this. Huh. It's like nobody can take this guy down. Like he's born to make people miserable. Um. Let's see, maybe I need to rephrase, rephrase the question. <laughs> uh, how will Putin be affected if USA gains control of themselves and like gets Trump out and gets people that are trusted and that maybe can stand up to Putin. How will he be affected if this happens? If people take back the control of United States, because that's the only UN United Nations are sleeping in their shoes, they're doing nothing, they're just and in Germany, they're having some business, some German 
businesses are intertwined with Putin's businesses and that the like, ugh, too many like interest is too many financial shits they're locked they're he has them in a lock let's see if USA recovers and like they take back their power and they will they how will they affect Putin how will Putin be affected if USA regains some sort of control and start to stand up to him I hope I'm being positive here I'm being optimistic here <laughs> How would Putin be affected? But yeah, there is a chance for him. There is a chance for him, and they would like he wouldn't like this. He would feel like fuck me. But he's still in power. He's still. He's still the devil here. It 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 will be more like of a loss of. Um, how to say not necessarily his ego but he would be affected by it like he, he doesn't like it he hates it with his ten of wands his his hopes are dead about <laughs> about some um, dreams he had so it affects him but not He's not affecting his power. I still see him this with in power. I still see him in controlling shit and greed and like I don't see it's more of a like um ego thing. It's more like a pride thing. I don't know. Some there is some loss, but more of a I don't know. It's, it's not gonna cut from his power. He's not. Is his um? No, this guy is way too too deep. He has a way too strong crop system that keeps him afloat. That keeps him there. Um, so there will there will be some blow, but it will be like he he's pissed about it, but it, it doesn't affect necessarily his structure that he's built. Ugh, okay, next the atomic, not the atomic, the nu nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> the nuclear missiles what's up with that why did he need to brag brag with his and flash us his nuclear dick why did he do that nuclear dick fight Putin, Trump and Ching Jung Jong Kung whatever the name is, is the North Korea the three stooges the three idiots with small dicks needing to feel big and <laughs> important and strong this okay so why why the nuclear bravado <laughs> what do you want from me? It's, yeah, bamboozling people. But he's also afraid. He wants to impress the world. He wants to impress people to bamboozle people. It's his external to consolidate his external look. I'm the big dog here. Look at me. 
Look at my big nuclear dick bamboozling. The temptress, the dream, the like this mirage, bamboozling people, fooling people, dreaming. And this is him with his oligarchs. This is the oligarchs card now when it's come to Russia. <laughs> this big cup here is Putin and these are his oligarchs filling their cups. What the, he wanted to impress this you know, queen of wands. Like this, this woman queen of wands that keeps appearing and I think he's like in love with her. And I don't think it's his wife. It's some woman. That keeps appearing in his fucking readings. And I know what's up with her. And this moon. I think he was also. Because he was scared. It's not just a bravado. Just to show off to people. And to the world. And to. Oh look at me. It's also fierce. The moon also fears. He felt threatened. He felt the hidden enemies. The FBI. Investigation. He he feels threatened somehow. He feels like, uh, and he, this was his way of saying, like, look, you cannot intimidate me, okay? Something like this. You can harm me, like, but you cannot intimidate me. Look at my dick. <laughs> I'm bigger than yours. So yeah, it was a show of to bamboozle people, to like paint this image. Like, look at me, to. It's also his oligarchs to like look at oh, 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 I'm so strong like let's like you know like the how to say the need to show off to his bodies they're having an orgasm together <laughs> what is that <laughs> the fucking the turkey <laughs> scratch that okay so yeah and also fear driven by fear and I think that he's built he felt the heat of the FBI and he needed to react to that to them that's why the nuclear dick fights um, next question his ties in UK what's his business in U U United Kingdom what's up with that can you believe he killed over like 20 people on United Kingdom soil and it should have been investigated and it wasn't doesn't that raise some suspicions why didn't they investigate why didn't they continue why did they close the case when this is an, a foreign attack on a, on your soil this is a like that should have been treated extremely seriously okay so let's see why What's going on with Putin and the UK? What's the deal there? What's going on? Money, money. I did a reading earlier, it appeared the same thing. He has a strong connection there. He he wants to show off with this killing. This is murder. This is it can be sometimes interpreted as murder. Murdering them. He wants to show off. He's doing this because he wants to show off. And... Um, to let them know that he's strong. That's why he killed them. But he's having connections, very important connections there, like this with him. Someone in a high position. It's not just some random. No, there's someone in a higher position that is in bed with him and he's deeply infiltrated and has money in it. He holds money over. And as I said, it's not just some anyone. If there is someone in United Kingdom in a high place that he's in bed with. 
Why did Brexit happen? I'm pretty sure it was Putin. No, he's deep in this, like he's... As I said, he's attacking on all fronts. And... There's some traitors in UK that need to be looked into. There's some really big, high up the ladder traders. Look, this is Putin. Big high up on, on the ladder traders that need to be revealed in UK. Um, okay. What was the other question? So, Navalny, we did Navalny. We did the nuclear dick fight. We did the um, UK connection. We did the why what it takes to bring him down. And this fucker doesn't come down. Okay, so I think I covered all about Russia. As in conclusion, to bring these fuckers down, you need a long term plan. You need people like what Alexei is doing is very good. This is what it's supposed to do to put your passion out there, to educate people, to um, and to work somehow underground, like to take your time and make a plan and also collaborate with people outside. And people outside need to not allow these oligarchs to launder their money to cut them off from them, you know, you, you, they need to be hidden from all sides. This is how you take down this system. If you're gonna try to make a revolution, it's gonna get killed. Look, in, look at Syria. Um, what else? The nuclear dick fight, it was motivated by his bravado and his bamboozling other people. And um, also fear. He felt he like reacted out of fear, hidden enemies, the FBI. I think that he was his way of showing like you cannot intimidate me. You can like look, I'm still I'm strong, I'm something like this. And this that fucking Queen of Wands. I have no idea what the fuck she wants from me or who she is. Don't ask me what's her name because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's just fucking with me and she's not real. <laughs> and the tarot cards are just fucking with me. I don't know. So, in the UK, yeah, there's some big ass traders in UK. So, we covered the Russia. Oh, man, this is long. <laughs> okay, so, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.